Great job. Oh, can, will emails confuse between us here, you know? Yeah. All right, call meeting to order. Thank you everybody for, for coming. Uh, we've got two more people, one who's just walked in and another's on her way. Behind me. Um, can we have roll call, please? Yeah. Daryl Burkhard, here. Janine LaPrade, here. Lisa Pappas, on her way. Not here yet. Tim Redmond. Yes, here. John Reiser. Present. Will Weber. Here. Liz Wiseman is here. And Barry Lonick and Chris Chang are here. All right, good. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we're going to try to keep the meeting to end at 5.30 for those of us who are going to the Suds on the River event. And a couple of us doing well. Oh, great night. The record should reflect that Lisa Pappas is present as well before the first okay, item. Okay, welcome. Anyway. All right, um, so we have the agenda. Did everybody have a copy of that? Any comments or changes to that? Anything need to be added? She took mine. Okay. Move approval. All right, thank you. Second? Yeah. Second. All right, moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, do we have anyone? Chris, who was waiting on public comments? Yes, we do. When I was looking at it, I believe Kathleen well, we Brandt had her hand raised. You know, Kathleen's around me, okay? Yep, go ahead. Thanks, Jack. We, do we get that? That didn't make it in then. Is it not in here? No. Um, Kathleen, All right. Uh, okay, never while we wait for the public comments, oh, one moment, okay. please. Uh, there is it. We have our minutes. Uh, did everybody have a chance to take a look? Minutes? You got it. Any comments, changes? I have them, Jen. All in favor? All right. I move to approve the minutes. I we have a move. Seconded. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you for and, those and two. Yeah. Sorry, that's not in the agenda. That was that's my oversight. Yeah. Uh now public comments for those eagerly waiting. Okay. Did we? I don't see Kathleen Brent hand raised any longer, but she did have it raised. Did you want to speak first, Kathleen? And we also have Rob Pattinson in the queue. Yes, they both have their hands up. So go ahead, Kathleen. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, Are you muted, Chris? Yep, she should be. Uh, this, yeah, I'm now I'm unmuted. Uh, I had my hand raised because the meeting was muted until about what four minutes after. That's why I raised my hand. I didn't understand. Thanks. Thank you. And was there someone else? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Did we also have Rob Pattinson? Oh. Yeah. Rob? Thank you, Rob Pattinson, Sao Township President. I was very sad to see on the agenda today, Will, that you're resigning from the LPC. Um, that is a loss for Sao Township. I have enjoyed all of our conversations over the years, all of our interaction. You have always been a gentleman. I think you have done a lot of good for Sao Township. I think this committee is one of the most impactful committees in Sao Township that has done a lot of good, and you have led that effort. So thank you very, very much for your service. Very well done. Here we go. That it? Uh, that's it. Okay, thank you. All right, um, reports of other commissions. We have an epic uh, document from John regarding planning and uh, BOT. Uh, do you want to just note briefly, not everything, it's all? Um, uh, I think my report is, speaks for itself. I, I emailed it to Christy yesterday, and I hope it made its way to the pack. Uh, um, if it didn't, I can touch on some of the highlights if you want me to. Uh, yes. You know, if you can get those things to me or whoever the secretary is by Monday, I can always send it out. I it depends. Know. Sometimes the planning commission meets Monday night and we don't get out until 10 o'clock. And, and I, yeah, the, I the, the board meeting was Tuesday till 11.30. So I could oh, okay. right. I email it to you at 1 a.m. on oh, I think Saturday, okay. Wednesday. So, um, but uh, to... Uh, um, Uh, sure. Here, I'm trying to get on the network, folks, so I can pull it up. And, oh, here it is. So, um, 
PP, well, that was yesterday. You're going to do PPP, correct? I am. Good. I mean, thank you. Um, um, we hired an IT specialist, Julio Barros. Um, we uh, approved an agreement related to the putting an AV voter box in the uh, parking lot of Sia Food and Party at Medi Drive and Jackson Road. That's uh, if you have over a certain size, I think it's like 15,000 registered voters, you need to have a separate AV ballot box to drop off. Um, are we are gonna have a contract with a, a communications firm to help disseminate educational uh, material regarding the November 24 fire millage. We can't advocate, but we can educate um, the board. And something of interest, I think, to this body is that we approved the uh, funds for the um, restoration of a prairie, native prairie meadow in the Van Curler uh, Reserve there on the north side of the township. That I, I don't think it's going to start this fall and go into the to the spring, or if it's all going to be a spring. There's what's really kind of driving it is when's the best time to burn to get rid of the invasives and help the thing. And so I think I, I think that's going to be a spring burn. Chris, you might Maybe, know more. Yeah it's, yeah, it's going to be spring of next year. Okay, no. all right, great. Um, maintenance of fire truck. Uh, heard from the PPP chair Rita Clinthorn. Uh, regarding and Roy too, I should have said that. Sorry, Roy. Uh, regarding a possible um, more active use park, the flyers use it, and uh, they they want to try to do something with that space back there that allows the flyers to continue using the space, but do something else. You know, should it should it should they have sports? Should there be a playground? Should there be this? Should there be that? Should there be something for the children? Should there be a you know a Pavilion, uh, so so that 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 discussion came up. Um, DDA's got money uh, that they're willing to donate, but it's that it looks like it. There might be some conditions, like for soccer fields, and I don't know how many soccer fields we would need back there. Whether and then we'd have to maintain them, we'd have to manage them, we'd have to schedule them, and you know. So that's that's PVD it's policy questions there. Um, a, 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 an accounting firm named Maynard Kasterison take a look at all our policies and the way we do the way we do business and kind of analyze whether we're whether we're efficient and whether we're vulnerable for for fraud or bad things happen and they made some recommendations in that regard the board heard that report um, the uh, allocate money for the restoration of the pathway in front of the that connects this building with the fire department there's a wooden uh, uh, boardwalk and imagine that a wooden boardwalk over a wetland uh, seems to impact the wood negatively such that over time it degrades. Um, but obviously I'm being sarcastic, it's periodic maintenance of wooden boardwalks is needed and it, this one's about at this time. Things are starting to buckle and curve and cough and become unsafe. Uh, we proved a an agreement where Sio Township is going to kind of take over finances and charge them for uh, Lock Alpine's private sewer. There's 520 homes, most of which are are here. Um, we received the report. Well, the, the search for an interim manager is kind of is has is culminated. It's over. There there isn't one. Um, and then at the other meeting uh, a couple of days ago. They decided to increase some of the duties that Christy Aiken has. So they've uh, made her, she's still the office coordinator, and, but they've given her some additional duties. And then they've also assigned different um, people in the areas. And that's on page two of my report. The supervisor will uh, supervise Fire Chief Hood, or as Cheng, or the parks director. Um, and the, the, oh no, you're going to report to. You and uh, Murphy and the fire chief are going to report to the to the supervisor. Uh, uh, Carrie will supervise the utility director. Aurora will supervise the IT, and Trustee Knoll will supervise uh, planning, which is Carlisle Wortman in engineering, which is OHM. Jessica Flintoff, the flirt, the, the Flintoff, the clerk, uh, will be the FOIA coordinator with uh, Will as the statutory duties of the supervisor to receive any FOIA appeals. Um, really, most importantly, not importantly, but say, uh, significantly, is that there was a proposal uh, for a site plan for Arbors Grove, which is a 35-unit 
uh, townhouse on a small parcel of land where hundreds of trees are gonna be cut down. And uh, that one is uh, on, on uh, Z Road on the right side, which would be the east side, south of Park Road. And it's in front of Parkwood, it's by Trillium, it's by Somerset. There's a bunch of little, nice little condos. A lot of them have some green space, but this was gonna be limited green space. It was going to be in one area and it was gonna be up to nine feet. The, the, it was gonna be nine feet kind of this, the, 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 the wetlands are going to be nine feet higher. So it's going to be this disparate uh, topography and just cutting down hundreds of trees and, and planting some of the trees kind of back there off site. It would require, it requires when they receive an easement uh, to drain water to the, what's called the U of M Lake or the U of M drain behind there. So it's a, uh, it was a, it's, it's a, I don't know that it's over yet. I don't want to say too much because it's an MR2, which is multifamily residential, top, duplexes, townhouses, things like that. And, and they had they had a sufficiently low number of houses, despite it being much more dense than the uh, four adjacent condo associations. And, and, and so the, 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 the tug's going to be whether or not it's by right and they can do it, or whether or not other aspects in the zoning code with respect to uh, environmental features and the look and how does it comport with surrounding properties and all that stuff. So on a, uh, on a four to one vote, the site plan was rejected. And so, so now we, you know, knock on wood to see, see if there's litigation uh, commenced based on it, the buy right project, or they come back with something that's less dense. Um, uh, or voted against it. Yeah, no. Four voted for it and four one against. Four voted to reject the site plan. One one said one thought it was acceptable under our zoning code. Um, uh, planning commission. That's a, that. There's a mouthful in that one about this uh, Creo, which is a um, compatible um, renewable energy ordinance. There's, you know how you're seeing, uh, maybe you don't follow this, but local restore local control. Uh, some local governments are upset that um, the state has allowed renewable energy facilities of a certain size. By say, I mean megawatts, 10 megawatts. That's, that's a hell of a lot of panels, but the state's saying you can do it. Now you can write a local ordinance, but if you write a local ordinance, it has to be compatible with the state's new law about. So the state's trying to encourage um, solar energy, renewable energy, battery. Uh, so, so like other townships, um, SIO is taking a look at, do we just rely on the state's uh, renewable energy or uh, statute, or do we try to adopt something uh, of our own that we have some control to the extent that the law allows local control of that? So that there's more on that. There have been different iterations. Carlisle Wartman, specifically Laura Krebs is helping I want a dozen, but multiple, several municipalities to try to take a look at what the, you know, what we're not alone in this quest of what we should do. Uh, uh, that's in there. Um, private road variance to a split a parcel on Porsche Road, which was built before. If you have a private road, they have, it has to comport to certain standards with respect to the width. And this is kind of a pre-existing then lawful private road that's in really in good shape. And there's not that many houses on it. And that passed the planning commission that also passed last night. Um, upcoming things, proposed cell tower, uh, vacant partial and indoor basketball facility. Uh, towns at Honey Creek, which is if you come out of the garden center at Menards on that east side, you know, the, the, you, you look out, there's a little field and there's going to be, uh, and there's Honey Creek there. Well, they want to put uh, some some uh, houses there, uh, about 60 attached single family homes on that parcel, uh, uh, residential. Who's Menards they? stuff? Who's they, John? Kind of, but not, well. It's their property. It's Menards' right? property, but they're not, they, you know, they're on the home building uh, business, so they would they would likely sell it to a developer or for, for that purpose. Oh, so there's no one? Sign up to build oh yeah, towns of Honey Creek. Towns at Honey Creek will like the yes, it's going to be coming before the 
planning commission for site plan view. Oh, so it's, you know, that's like, here's where the houses are going. Yeah. Um, uh, I yield back. Okay, thank you. Any questions here? The uh, matter of um, reassigning tasks within the township in the absence of a manager, is that until you find a manager or is that in lieu of a manager? That's the intention. That's the intention. They, they, you know, and people spoke uh, at the uh, meeting two nights ago. That would be Tuesday night when you were watching the debate. We were here till 1130 talking about stuff like this. Uh, but um, it's the people express the intention to have a permanent township manager. And why did we uh, be able to find one? Pardon? What happened? Why do we have one? Well, we don't have one because Joyce is leaving on September 15th and we were unable to coalesce around an approach and hire somebody. And that's that's where I'm gonna leave. Okay. And is that approach coming then? I mean, have you set a date for having the approach put together or? No, I think, so th th really it's, there's a new board coming in. So should a, an outgoing board decide who the permanent manager is going to be when there's going to be new policy makers coming in. So, you know, we're going to have uh, soon Trustee Brandt, Trustee Monk, Treasurer Yapel. Um, so we've got new, we've got three new people coming in. Uh, I don't want to disrespect anybody if I missed anyone, but I don't think I did. Uh, I'll be returning Kathleen. Uh, Noel will be returning. Uh, will will not be. Mark will not be. I don't think I am. Yeah. Oh, Jillian Kerr is going to be the supervisor, obviously. Yeah. So it's deferring until the new board. Takes. That's that's exactly right. Letting the new board kind of come in, decide who they want to manage according to their vision for the role. In terms of just one other follow up question. In terms of the um, number of trans, there there have been several people in that role for. By the last five years, yes, it's a, it's and is some is somebody in the current um, leadership domain uh, no, looking at like the set of factors and variables associated with that? The, like why why there's so much turnover in this position, and especially this this current turnover. Um, I, I I I don't know. There was a committee. There is a committee, okay. and Kathleen Brandt was on that committee. She's watching. She can, during public comment, she can talk about that. It's okay. I just, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. curious, and I can follow up with yeah. folks if I have other questions. Thank you. All right. So, so uh, do you have more to add regarding parks, pathways, and I reserves? do. I do. Um, so Murphy Harrington is the new parks director. Uh, she um, is fantastic. I think she'll be great. We want her to stay and be happy here. She's starting up the SIO, a, a SIO outside type of program. So I want to tell you all how to get there, okay? So if you go to the, the township website, um, you pull that up, and then you go to community, the community tab. And then under the community tab, you go to parks, preserves, and pathways. And under that, it says SIO outside, parks, community engagement program. And if you go there, you will see that there is a bat there are um, two nights when there is a, a sort of a bat that, um, information exploration mm -hmm. night um, it'll give you information on that that's coming up at the end of this month um, October 2nd there's a um, Murphy has something scheduled on clouds adventures of the sky and then we have October 10th which is our next meeting um, sky watchers and then a young naturalist program so you'll see that she has some really cool things there's an owl prowl on november 15th so um she's just jumping right in and getting started and you all just be aware of this because there will be really good we're trying to get the word out on parks foot but she's um got some very good ideas um is there, uh, you know, will there be an article in the coming uh, township newsletter about it? You know, I don't know the answer, but I would expect yes, because the bats come before the next newsletter, but she's she's trying to publicize it. I think there might be a banner on the website. We've talked about it. Um, yeah, the Van Curler Preserve that John mentioned, the burn is scheduled for January of next year, um, or maybe February, I guess, if January is a little early. Um, and that was balancing the need that 
the um, type of vegetation that is growing there now, like the goldenrod, really won't burn very well versus keeping the little salamanders safe that are that in the spring. So it was a narrow little window that we're working with. Um, uh, Liberty Pond Nature Area, there's a there's a um, going to be a burn of or there there's a proposed burn of 11 acres um, back toward the road that orders that preserve. Um, and and uh, that's in the process, I think, of being approved. Is that right, Chris? Yes. Yeah. No, no, I, I believe they'll probably do it this fall if Murphy can get it approved. OK, so yeah. That's her OK, yeah. yeah. So she's trying to get that approved. But she's actively working on invasives in um, Liberty Pond. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, yes. Um, um, Barry and Dave Lutton have been granted walking access across the Sloan Preserve to do soil samples um, of the arsenic contaminated um, portion. Um, and let's see. And our Eagle Scout came yesterday to give a very um, much more precise um, and detailed description of his proposal for Township Hall Park. The next steps are for um, eventually at some point, I hope sooner rather than later, we'll go. Did we vote on that? We did vote on that, didn't we? We voted to recommend that the board approve um, Brandon's proposal. So it will go to the board. It has to go, as John pointed out, to legal and that sort of thing. Um, um, but Brandon is working with the Michigan Recreational Construction Inc. Um, to make sure it's safe and his debt proposal will go to the board fairly soon. Um, and then as John also mentioned, the Zeeb Road pathway, the boardwalk is is being worked on all this week. It's closed, but it should be, I think, opened up maybe it should tomorrow. Be finished, yeah, tomorrow. Friday into tomorrow. So. And that's all I have. Great. Yeah. Okay. And Liz, I would also add, I yeah. did have a brief discussion with Murphy earlier today. She has spoken with legal. And I believe that Brandon, who is the, the future Eagle Scout, that, that can move forward as far as yeah. liability issues, insurance that's covered by the township. So I think it's full go at this point. Great. Right. Good. Good. All right. Thank you, Liz. Um, sustainability Task Force. Any word on events there, Tim? Yep. Yep. Um, you know, the, the main thing is the October 6th Sustainability Fair. 11 to 3. Pardon me? 11 to 3. 11 to 3 p.m. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have uh, quite a few tables. It's going to be in, in the Meyer parking lot on the east side of the building. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of uh, people coming, much more than we had last year because it was in, uh, you know, Right here in the fire department. Um, spot. So uh, we we are looking to have um, you know participation from the PPP and the LPC and the uh, planning commission so that questions can be answered. Well, um, <clears throat> or whoever knows where those boards are, that you know, Christy will know. They're in the storeroom. Uh, back here. Okay. Um, so they're big enough that they should, they should be conspicuous back there. Okay. And I realize this uh, event isn't, isn't anybody's responsibility here except for me, but we, I'm going to be busy setting it up, taking it down, running around. Yeah. You need help at a certain time of the morning? Can we, you mean setting it up? Yeah. Like I think there's going to be there there enough or something. people, but yeah, if you want to help come at 9 30, 10 o'clock. I had volunteered to make a QR code or something of that sort, either to go into the map or the application, or I haven't done any of that. So just calling myself accountable. <laughs> yeah, one of the challenges I've had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, just. As an alternative means to see, well, I think the map, if you've got a big billboard already printed, that's the easiest thing to do. If we could have a QR, a on QR that. code, maybe to go to a location or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get little stars for each one of the farms that we have in the township that provide food for the township, not just for animals. Oh, that's nice. How are we publicizing the sustainability tax uh, task 
course, um, the fair. How are we putting the word out? Are we bringing in the yeah, website? I, I got in touch with Doug Merrill. I mean, every everything you can do is great. Okay. But I've got in touch with Doug Merrill sometimes. Oh, nice. oh great. And yeah. uh, he's an old friend. And uh, he's going to write an article. Uh, great edition that comes out right before it, maybe two before it. And so that's one way. I mean, there are other, uh, it's on the South Township website. You know, <clears throat> there's other things going on, but anything you can do to invite your friends and family, just let them know. And it'd be great to see all their support. As a, pr as a practical logistics matter, those boards are quite large. And so imagining how you're going to support them probably would take a little effort in advance, whether it's, you know, bricks on the bottom to frame them. If it's a windy day. How'd you do that last year? It was inside. So it was just against a wall. It's going to be inside. It's going to be in a tent. Oh, okay. Three sides. To it. So you should be able to hang it in some way. So you might Maybe. anticipate uh, yeah. a hanging strategy. Well, a hanging, yeah. <laughs> Is there any way you can put something cool. on that corner yeah, really to right. let people like a sign so that all the people driving by that corner will say, oh, yeah. gosh. We're going to get a big sign that right on the front of it. I mean, big, you know, yeah. letters that big that oh, good. hangs on the top of the tent that says sustainability, SIO Sustainability Fair. And hopefully that will attract yeah. a lot of people who come into the store and take a look. But uh, so it'd be great to have somebody mm -hmm. volunteer to get those signs and bring them and put them up. Can I sign you up for that one? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get them to you at least, okay? <laughs> well, is it on the website? You know, I can, Any other you reports? Know, that, yeah, that's a good question. Is it on the website, Tim? Or where is it on the website? I'm sorry. Where is it on the website? I don't know. I never look at the website. But some people, well, good. we put a banner up the way we do when we do a request for proposals. And we do a banner up on the SIO website. You know, when you log on, there's a banner there and it says sustainability tax, uh, um, whatever, fair. So it could be. It doesn't get a lot of traffic. So really? yeah, okay. I don't touch the website, but. I would say follow up, kind of work with Chris on the signs, the ordering, and then maybe so because where are they going to be stored and all that kind of stuff. Because I assume this the sustainability fair is going to be an annual thing, right? Yeah. So we don't want to we probably don't want to put a date on it. We probably want to have something that's going to kind of last for years to come, and you know, um, just yes. Uh, Longer. And, and like they might so, want our official logo on it, that kind of thing. So work with Chris. Right. right. We, we yes, I, we've talked about that. Okay, we're, we're okay. going to get that banner that will go any place we have it. Got it. Usable, and I, I okay. think that one of our non-commissioned listeners is <laughs> has volunteered to help out with that, haven't they, Rob? Okay. Because he's still on. Yeah. Let's not bring him in. We oh, no. Okay. Well, he's got to stand up now. So. Tim, do, do we, when we have events like this, do we put yeah. it in the observer? The Ann Arbor yeah. observer? I, I think uh, it's probably too late for that at this point. Oh, it? It's oh, really it's advanced deadline. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, is that's that's kind of where I go yeah. to look at yeah. things that are. It should be in there. Yeah, yeah you're right. Do you get it sometimes? I don't get it either. Yeah. Oh. But you get the well, observer. Everybody. I get. I, I only get it. it. Uh, did we have Rob needing to make it? He, he was. Rob. He, he had his hand raised, and then he lowered it. So if you'd like Rob to speak, I'm sure you'll. Yeah. No. Rob doesn't have to speak. Okay. He graciously. Let's let move we'll, 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 we'll we'll along. And, uh, okay. So th thank you for that report. Yeah. I'm not done. Oh, you're not. No. no. Just, just a little bit more. I want you to know that we are the Sustainability Task Force is working on a composting program for the township and to utilize two or three different sites around the township with, with buckets that people will fill and bring in and dump, and, you know, according to you know certain restrictions 
no animal waste and so on and so forth. Anyway, we're working on a composting situation. Uh, Is that food waste then, Tim? Food waste? Food waste, okay. yeah. Yeah, not, not necessarily air waste. I'm sure about that. Anyway, um, the Michigan Green Communities um, Program Accelerator, which is all about homeowner efficiency and resilience and sustainability in purchasing considerations and so on. I, I, yeah, I'll stop there. Thank you. Uh, moving on to, uh, we covered old business and moving on to new business. Um, there's the matter of electing a new chair for this August body. And there has been some conversation that I've been involved in. Uh, the suggestion is that perhaps Liz and Lisa could be co-chairs with them to decide on any given day who might have the responsibility for actually running the meeting. But it's not something we're imposing. It's something we're suggesting. So I don't know if we have any additional comments here, any additional strategies for how we might make this transition happen? Well, it's something you guys are. Any, yeah, should, should any suggestions on the well. process? I'm just curious. I, I don't, I'm asking who's, who get, who decides? We do. If we do. This, this is an alcoholic function. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll ask for a motion okay. at the end of this discussion. Okay. I Did didn't anyone, know if it was yeah. a, a different. If it was a board of trustees decision, because nope, they, nope, they have nope, to we, we, well, okay. You can nominate yourself. You can nominate someone else. And, and so and, that's and what I, I want to say. You know, we are willing to do that. But I would also want to know if anyone would like to serve in that position. And so, um, and, thank and you very back. much. We welcome your <laughs> commitment. Oh, man, I wanted it. Seeing no one stand up and stepping forward. I gotta go to the bell. So, Lisa, how, how would that work? This is my, our full time employee. I have more time. I would do a lot of the prep work. We would alternate, you know, running the meeting, um, but it's handy in case Lisa has something going on at right. work. I am out, out of town in Tennessee. Or something like that. You see, this it might work really well, I think. Um, and, and so, yeah, I'm usually here, but you know, there there are meetings I haven't been here. And as far as secretarial duties, I mean, if you well, are, right. And then, of course, we have, a, a, you know, I, if anyone would like to take on the secretary job, you certainly can. It's not as involved. There are some deadlines that you have to meet. But it, the, the minutes can actually be very abbreviated because it is a factual record, you know, what the actions take um, based on the agenda. So it doesn't have to, it, while we, I try to include pretty extensive um, discussion of, of public comment period, because that's not on the agenda. Those are our resident comments. So I try to expand on those to the extent that residents have concerns. But mostly, we just record the item on the agenda and the action taken under it. So under reports, you know, you see the minutes every month, we would just have a brief discussion. Well, for, for John's um, very um, good report today, I would only include the um, matters that relate to our group. So of this page and a half that he has, I would, I would include in our minutes, the items that he mentioned that are relevant to the work of the land preservation group, um, not the whole, I wouldn't, you know, move, drag this whole report in there. So um, that's the way I've been doing it. I know people do minutes different different ways, um, but I don't think it has to be. You're talking about the minutes, not the packet, right? Sorry. You're talking about in the minutes, right? I'm talking about in the minutes. I'm trying to make the case that it's you know, and I'm willing to continue for no, a no, while. No, 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 I, I agree. want to think about it. I've got a template, and so it's not that hard for me to do. But, um, you know, I, I'd like people to think about it if they would enjoy doing it. Oh, you have, you have to meet some deadlines. You have to have it posted on the website 48 hours before the meeting. Um, and that's that's the Open Meetings Act requirement. Um, there's also, uh, I think we're supposed to have them on the township website within... I think it's within 24, 48 hours. I have missed that at times, but I send them right in to Christy and Fran um, every, you know, right promptly after our meeting, if we, you know, as corrected. So um, there are some deadlines like that, but you can, y'all can think about it. 
<laughs> Anybody well, like to step? Yeah, up or you us? can step up today. Yeah. Well, is is that a, a set of tasks that's appropriate to have somebody who works for the township who is part of who is participating in these meetings do? I, I mean, that's a lot Good to question. put in. Put in. I mean, I don't know. Do you? Do you I'm not a voting. You don't do minutes for parts, so. though. No. Adult. And so I feel as if we should keep that within our group. Um, you know, Chris is listening in, but I feel as if a member of the group needs to. I mean, John, your thoughts on that? I'm going to want to take a look at our, uh, our our kind of our bylaws. That's what I'm. So what I'll do for now, yeah. if no one wants to just I mean, jump I, in and say I'll do it, it sounds I, easy enough. So here's what it says: the tr the commission shall elect a chair. A vice chair and secretary from its members. Uh, officers will be elected by a majority of the LPC members present at a regular special meeting at which a quorum is present, term of one year, and each officer shall serve until reelected or until a successor has been elected. Um, and then it talks about duties. The secretary shall have custody of the official minute books and records of the commission and shall be responsible for preparation of all correspondence, notice and minutes pertaining to uh, meetings and the official acts of the commission and deliver the minutes and notices to the township clerk for posting and filing. The secretary is absent from the commission meeting. The chair shall appoint a temporary secretary to take minutes of the meeting. So the vice chair shall serve as the chair in the absence of the chair or if the chair is unable to discharge the duties of the office. So, um, we don't have a vice chair. Well, I mean, yeah. This would be, we just redefine these roles as chair and vice chair, but you'd agree yeah. to share the. Sure, yeah. And I guess Marty was. Marty so, was vice chair. She was vice chair, but pretty much did everything. Yeah. Any further clarification required here or further suggestions for how to proceed? I'm happy to do them this time, and, and I would be happy to, you know, work with anyone who wants me to turn over the, the talk to them. So you can you can think about it. We definitely can. All right. Well, we'll table that responsibility for I, the moment. Are you thinking about Is that me or Chris? You. Oh, <laughs> you're looking at our. <laughs> yeah. I see you thinking about. Well, yeah, but I also have mixed feelings about oh, it. Yeah. Uh, just in terms of the balance of, know. you yeah. know, gender dynamics and you know, like well, I, I mean, I, exactly I hate to right. say that, but in terms of a ministerial, I'm I'm happy to do so it. There are a few meetings yeah. that I probably won't be able to attend in person, and because we have a requirement that we have yeah. to be in person, that's going to be a limit limitation. Yeah. We can yeah. figure out how to. How to attend to that, but I'm happy to step in and do and, that. And you point out, and Daryl was kind enough to do the minutes last time, but it is usually the women that take the notes. Yep. yep. So, so I'm just, just for the record. They all <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm piling it on, aren't they, Jim? <laughs> Secretary. Well, well, yeah. uh, well, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not We're suggesting sure. that that's underlying any well, choice of we should, stepping it, forward or not. I just, I mean, to my all out. of that. And, yeah. yeah. We're going to get a new member. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want that's that's the way to sell that. Somebody wants to be a secretary. I like that idea. Well, while we're on that subject, of course, if you know of anyone. And I, yes, I do, and I need to follow up with him. So. Yeah, so. Do that probably. Yeah, I do. We can yeah. get him to take some minutes. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, count me in. <laughs> Would you like to be nominated today? To be the secretary? Yeah. Well, I mean, in the in the oh. interim, if if this new person oh. is interested, I'd by all means. Because I talked to him, and that we he was doing his application, and then he kind of just and well, I think he got scared time off time. a little bit. I'll find I'll find out. All right, that's know. that's another matter. But uh, as far as formalizing the role of secretary, are you comfortable in having that appellation? <laughs> sure. All I'll right. tell you what, you can do it when you're here, and I will just transcribe my notes into. Fair enough. Uh, All right. Well, among you, I'm sure the yeah. task will be covered. So uh, I think what we would like is a motion suggesting that we have uh, Lisa, Liz, as well, let's start with Liz as chair, Lisa as vice chair. Um, and Janine as secretary, 
as a slate of officers. Can we have a nomination to that effect? I'll nominate. Thank you, Daryl. Second. Seconded. All right. Our second, Tim. Tim. All right. And do you think we need a, can we do a voice vote here? Yeah, I think so. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Well done. Okay. Uh, congratulations to the new officers. <laughs> 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 all right um let's talk about attendance at, at the next meeting number 331 on october 10th uh anybody anticipate not being here for that that's my birthday if you're all nice to me for the first time right? oh, yeah. on your birthday and Janine's uh, okay, so one person, but everyone else likely to. Do you do it on your birth? I'll, I'll send you the. Well, okay. I, I, that, you know me, I got more verbose in minutes than you do. But, but you, this <laughs> was a great effort. Yeah. I really appreciate okay. you doing it. So, it Janine, great. when you're not here, I'll do it. Thanks, Daryl. That's all right. All right. Let's move along here to yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, consultants' open session. Uh, Report? Yeah, just a couple of quick things here. Uh, Chris, any financial statements? Yeah, I sent them to you. Oh, I never got them? Oh, I sent them to you last week. Uh oh. <laughs> I do, never got them. Oh, I should be. Thank you. Sure you Chris, thank you for doing that. Yes. That's, that's really. Check. I sent you a reminder. Yeah. And I, I think I sent it to you right after you sent me that reminder. Look at the same day. I don't see anything. Oh, oh, can we imagine there's Chris. not much change since we didn't really? Yeah, put, there, there wasn't much to... change, but there was. I mean, talking decimal points here, small, small fractions of a percent, but yeah, ah. yeah I don't see it. I haven't been received. Uh, well, perhaps we can include them with the minutes then if we can try yes. to dial them. Yes, I... Chris, why don't you send them to me? Okay, I'll send minutes to you. That'd be great. Um, yeah. And Chris indicated that he was going to put a tickler on yeah. his, uh, his. So yeah, in the future maybe uh, both Barry and Liz then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I definitely wanted will. to see them ahead of time. Yep. And the only other thing then was uh, something we'll talk about more in closed session, um, but for public consumption, uh, there is a special application round for federal. ASEP, Agricultural Conservation Easement Program funding that just got announced. Um, it is uh, using funds that were provided by the Infrastructure Reduction Act, which I think, uh, my impression is anyway, that every unit of government got some money out of that, including Santa Township. You mean and the Inflation Reduction Act? Yes. IRA? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that includes the Natural Resources Conservation Service of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And so they're holding a, a special application round. Uh, it's due October 4th. We have one property that I think we could submit to that, but we'll discuss again in closed session. Uh, I don't know how much money is available. Um, typically for the annual farm bill funded ASEP program, it's something about a million two, a million four nationally. In Michigan, um, and it could be that much in this case, or it could be more, or it could be less. I have no idea. I have asked the program coordinator earlier today, and he said they should be getting that allocation any time now because the October four is the deadline. So there are annual allocations. This is a special one, and then there's the annual one uh, through the farm bill, and that will be announced sometime in the next couple of months and last year's deadline was December. So there may be two opportunities to submit properties for ASAP funding this year. Can one property apply to both? Uh, not the same property, not the, in its entirety. Um, it's possible that you know one part of a property could be nominated to one and the other part in another one. You can't match, you can't say we want to get you know X yeah. dollars from you can't double dip. Yeah, you can't double dip, okay. basically. Um, so it's you know one or the other, but anyway, I just wanted to let everybody. Are, are our other partner typical partners here in the uh, community also likely to apply for these funds? Um, 
In terms of our partners, I don't know. Um, and you know, and the partners being Washtenaw County and uh, Greenbelt Program, City of Ann Arbor. Um, I haven't had any discussions with them. I can tell you that I'm also representing other townships and we're looking at submitting a number of properties for this. And we'll see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> And that's all for the open session report. I would like to say another thing that's missing from this agenda is our second public comment period. And if we could add that in yeah. right, right now before we go into this. I agree. I agree. I know that. that. Yeah. So, uh, Chris, uh, for anyone who's listening, uh, our agenda does not contain second public comment period, but we do want to make that available. If there's anybody online who'd like to further yeah. say something. We do have. Rob Pattinson with his hand up. All I can say is that Tim and Jan are very smooth talkers and talked me into helping with the banners. So I am, I am indeed helping with the banners. We're waiting for a quote back from Dollar Bill Printing. Um, and Tim, one question for you. It's October 6th for the Sustainability Fair. Is it 11 to 3? Do I have the time right? Yes. That's correct. 11 to 3. Okay, perfect. And uh, once again, Will, thank you very much. Um, have a great fall, and uh, and you've done very well in this in your service. Thank you. Yeah, we we all like that. Uh, okay. And uh, I I just want to tell you, you were very gracious in taking that on. Good. Well, I hope that fair is very successful. Uh, all right, I think then at this point, we've covered all the elements prior to going into closed session. Yeah, did we finish doing attendance? Did, Pardon we, me? Did we, did we finish doing the attendance? At I think next we meeting? did, yeah, we, it's on there twice. No. I'm not sure what happened to the attendance. Just yeah. in case, <laughs> uh, Lisa showed up a little bit late. <laughs> no, 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 this is, this yeah. is for, next, for next, next meeting. meeting. Yeah, Janine is not going to be there, but I don't know that we clarified what everyone else was doing next week. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't make that clear. I think people usually pipe up if they can't make okay, it. Okay, and yeah, we don't pull. Sorry, we don't pull. Yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a... But we will have a, enough to go into closed session if we have... Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody has to come if Janine's not going to be here because we are missing a member for next time in order to go into closed right. session. Okay, All right, we need five. Yes, if, if it helps, sure. I just reset the financials to you, Liz, and okay. you, Barry, if you want to pull them up, if you'd like to look at them right now. Hopefully, I don't know if they're stuck yeah. in cyberspace, but I just reset them. I'll attach those the to field. the minutes yep. also. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You, you see a value in reviewing it in any way, Barry? I mean, we, we don't have it in front of us either, so yeah, I think it's better. let's be sure it's in the minutes. And if there's okay. a comment- I said it to you also, Liz. Yes. Yeah. If, yep. um, if you have comments that are appropriate to the financials, include them in the minutes that you'll send to Liz. It may send a note to Liz for the minutes. All right, so we have a very formal way of going into closed session here. Would somebody like to read the motion as it's stated in the, on the agenda and set us forward to closed session? Yeah, I, I should do the, the summary before you have the oh, vote. Oh, yeah, summary. Before the vote. Before the vote. Okay. I will uh, move that we go into cl closed session for the purpose of discussion of pending property. Evaluations pursuant to section 15.268D of the Michigan Open Meetings Act specifically to consider the purchase <laughs> or lease of real property up to the time an option to purchase or lease that real property is obtained. Okay. Do we have a second? And I'll second it, but didn't you say you were going to do the summary? Did, I thought you did the summary. Or have you done completed the summary? No. Please. no you I only said you said one thing about closed session, but you have more to say, don't you? Well, one of the things that we have on the agenda is for me to right. summarize yes. uh, the closed session topics yes, and, and whether we anticipate coming back into open session afterwards to vote. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll hold the vote for going into closed session. Yes. Um, we have uh, one property that could be submitted for this uh, special uh, ASAP uh, funding round. So we'll have some discussion about that. It, and there won't be really a vote per se, but more say 
you know, go ahead with it um, or not. Um, but no money's being spent, so there won't be any motions coming out of that. Uh, I have an update on another property for which we have federal and state awards. There's some, some uh, movement there. Um, a couple of other short updates uh, on some other properties. Um, we have uh, appraisals back for uh, a couple of parcels that were nominated recently. And so um, we'll have some discussion about that and there could be recommendations on uh, the usual due diligence as well as the purchase of the easement um, on that. So there's a chance there would be something back in open session again after the closed session. So likely then we will re-enter open session for a vote or there's a high likelihood of that. Is that what you would say? Um, there's a possibility. Possibility. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we'll go back in open session to at least close the meeting, but there may be one um, uh, motion to consider back okay. in the open session. All right. Thank you. All right. We've read the motion for how we go into closed session and we've had a second. Uh, we need a roll call vote for deciding yes, to actually yes. do it. Okay, Daryl? Yes. Janine? Yes. Lisa? Yes. Tim? Yes. John? Yes. Will? Yes. Liz? Yes. All right, we are now in uh, closed session.